Hello there, everybody. This is Drunk Gumbo 1645 Welcome back to more Let's Play Glubber. Before I proceed onward to level 2, we have a giant chicken! It's a giant chicken! If you talk to this chicken, obviously you'll be given a cheat. If you remember the cheat combination, then you can enter it and activate the corresponding cheat. Level 2, obviously, as I said before, is actually in a treasure chest. This is another level that we unlocked as well for completing Atl Atlantis. However, I'm not going there yet. Instead, I'm actually going to... I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to level 2 like I should. I also noticed during my last recording session, believe it or not, this is actually my second recording attempt. Oh, excuse me. I noticed during... I noticed just before beginning this recording session that uh, jumping actually allows you to move a little bit faster. So, yeah, if you want to move a little bit faster, try jumping around. <laughs> also, during the last recording session, my controller was malfunctioning. So, yeah, if you want to know how or why it was malfunctioning, it was malfunctioning because... I don't know why. It was just uh, acting like it had a mind of its own and uh, it was just refusing to go where I wanted it to go. So, not only that, I also didn't have anything to talk about and I felt like I was just boring and, well, that I just don't want, I just don't want that. And when I'm boring, I get mad. And when I get mad, I'm not happy. <sighs> Stupid physics. Uh, return it to a bowling ball. Hmm. Well, that is kind of a useful trick if you're... And once again, I feel like the controller has a mind of its own. Maybe it's just the way the game is when it comes to the water physics. I don't really know. Okay, I seriously don't have a clue. Like, maybe the ripples in the water or whatever push Glover in a particular direction. I seriously don't know. Hmm. You know what, I think that's what it is. The ripples in the water actually push Glover when he's standing on this ball in a certain direction. So, that's why I felt like the ball had a mind of its own. I thought it was my controller messing up, because when I turned the game on to actually start my first recording session, the controller wasn't even plugged in. That's what it seemed like. Of course, I'm still going for 100%, and why isn't my R button working? Okay, that's weird. It seems like my card locator thing is gone. I don't know. I think that's what it is. I think it's gone. So, this is going to be a major pain in the ass now. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, if you couldn't tell, this little island here, I think that's our exit. Hmm. hmm. You know what? I think that's what it is. My card locator is gone now. I think it's... Ah. I think you can only activate this, uh, glitch, not really a glitch, but, uh, this little cheat once per playthrough. Well, maybe not once per play playthrough, but once per time you, uh, actually turn the game on. So, once you turn it off, you gotta do the cheat again if you want it again. So, <sighs> that's gonna be fun, having to search the for the cards the old-fashioned way, so, <sighs> I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I'm not really liking it. It's just, it would have been nice to actually be able to actually know where all the cards are. Again, only available in easy mode, I guess. I guess that's what I get for trying to do things the easy way. And once again, yes, I am going for all the cards. So, yeah. 
point. In order to get this treasure chest open, I think what I gotta do is pretty simple. Just, uh, gotta hit that target with the ball. But first, I'm gonna get rid of that guy so we wouldn't get in the way. And also this time, I brought a list of topics with me, so I actually have something to talk about. And obviously, I talked about one of the things I wanted to do. Okay, so that, uh, chest kind of contained nothing really all that useful. Only thing it contained was an extra life. But hey, I can always use extra lives. Get over here, and let's go. So, okay, what am I going to talk about now? Not really sure. Again, I apologize. Oh, actually, yeah, I do have something to talk about. I just couldn't... Uh, I just couldn't really find my list of topics at first. Well, another thing I could talk about today is uh, whether or not the prestige in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or and or Black Ops. You may be thinking I'm sounding like a broken record right now by uh, just talking about those games in particular. And I almost talk about them all the time, but really, who cares? Okay, I think in order to activate this switch, you gotta do this with the bowling ball. If not, it's uh... Yeah, okay, it's not the bowling ball, it's... I think it's the marble. Thankfully, when you're transforming the the ball and whatnot, it doesn't uh, send you flying to the surface unless you move. Okay. Dang it. I gotta hit the switch if I want to go anywhere. Okay, that island is not really the level exit. What am I thinking? Hmm, I got an idea. I gotta time this just right. Dang it, I missed. Ah, stupid current. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm, maybe I gotta do something else. I don't remember. Alright, trying to get back on topic, and there goes my freaking weather bug again. Dang it! Hate that. Hmm. Alright, trying to get back on topic with uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, whether or not the Prestige. Well, it may be worth it to Prestige once in both of those games, but after that, you really shouldn't do it anymore. I mean, sure, extra classes are nice and everything like that, but... Really, when you Prestige in either one of those games, you lose everything. And the only things that carry over are, like, titles and emblems. And, really, that's just about it. I mean, sure, you earn a title after you, like, level up a couple times in the new Prestige and everything like that, but... <sighs> really, it's just not really worth it, in my opinion. <sighs> I mean, seriously, I mean, I Prestige, like, five times in Modern Warfare... Well, in the uh, Black Ops, I Prestiged four times in the uh, Modern Warfare 2. In the uh, Modern Warfare 2, right now, I'm at the uh, level 50. I mean, uh, level 70. Ah, stupid physics. There we go, finally! That took a while. As I was trying to say, I'm at, uh... Oh, dang it. I'm at, uh, level 70, fourth prestige in, uh, Modern Warfare 2 right now anyway, and uh, I'm kind of staying there. So, oh great, we've got to activate this second little switch. How fun will that be? A lot of fun. Oh, dang it. Okay, so the third thing, well, the third thing I want to talk about right now is, well, Basketball season is over for me in the Special Olympics, so... Yeah, if you want to know how we did, we, uh, we got in, uh, fourth place. I mean, we were on the highest bracket, and we just played our asses off in those two games of which we played. Ah, stupid, stupid ball. Yeah, as I was saying, we were, we played our asses off in that, in those, uh, 
games, and we we just played our best for the most most of us did. Anyway, I know I played my best, and uh, sure we may not have won first place or even bronze, which is third, but hell, at least we had fun. And well, now that the basketball is done, the next thing. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah. The next thing I'm doing is actually softball. And, well, softball... Softball is kind of different than, uh, you know... Ah, 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 get up, get up, get up. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, quack. Okay. Little worry aside. Getting back to kind of what I was trying to say. Well, softball has, uh, begun, and unlike, uh, basketball, we've actually been, uh, winning softball for the softball state games for, like, for the past five years and running. If we win this year, it'll be, uh, year six. So, yeah, that's something really exciting. Well, anyways, these little guys here are little sword enemies. If you can uh, grab onto the back of them, you'll actually uh, gain control of that enemy. So... Hmm. He also acts as an extension of uh, yourself, too, so... And also, he has a little bit of a mind of his own. And if you want to let go of him, just, uh, just push the Z button. And by the way, if you happen to use his attack on your ball, obviously you'll puncture a hole in it, so be careful. And obviously if you can, uh, if you can, you can uh, use your, you can use the possessed enemy to actually uh, help you destroy certain enemies and certain obstacles too. I'm not sure, I think I gotta come up here myself. I mean, it makes sense. Yep, as I thought, I come up here myself and I pound this. And another ship rises! So sweet! <laughs> Alright. Well, the, uh, in the last video I've mentioned that uh, Madame Wario has, is uh, doing her Let's Play of Yoshi Story. Well, here's a funny little thing. Like a day later, after she started her Let's Play, Nintendo Capri Sun started doing his Let's Play of Yoshi Story as well. So, I find that kind of funny. I find it kind of funny that uh, he's doing the same game as Mario Wario pr practically at the same time as her, so... Yeah. Really. Hmm. Okay, well, now we just gotta navigate through here, watch out for the spikes. So we don't end up uh, destroying the ball and losing our lives, etc, etc. It's not too hard to navigate through for the most part. Just uh, gotta navigate through the hills, and there we go. And now we got boxes to destroy, so pow, there we go. What the heck? Oh, you, s you son of a bitch. <sighs> I hate those cannonball enemies. And I hate the fact that it was hiding in that box, too. So, yeah, dang it! That's what I get for not paying attention. I was checking my preview screen, seeing what was going on, seeing if the if the video glitched up in oh, I almost killed myself again. Seeing if the video glitched up in any way. So I'm glad that it didn't. So now I shall toss you into the face of oblivion. There we go. And here's a funny little thing. Even the bowling ball can get uh, destroyed. No, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Stupid camera. Work with me. Thank you. Hmm. I'm not sure if those cannonball guys can uh, puncture the ball or not, but I'm not taking any chances. Oh, jeez. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, no, no. Where is it? Oh, okay. Evil, evil treasure chest. It must die. Or get stunned, and it kills me instead. And obviously, I can't return to a checkpoint if the 
wall isn't near me. We're on safe ground, so... <sighs> Keep that in mind when trying to transport the ball. And really, if you just want to use checkpoints, dang it. Okay, so... Apparently the... Cannonballs that are rolling around here cannot be, uh... They cannot be punctured, and... For some weird reason that the cannonball on the ship killed that uh, one guy. So of course now I can't use them. That sucks. Oh, ah, man! Dang it! That sucks. Damn. Here's another thing I'm kind of thinking about about dividing these videos. It depends on the length of not only the level that I do, but the next level I do as well. Like if, uh, let's say I'm fighting a boss or something. If, uh, the boss takes me, like, a million years to fight, then, of course, it'll be its own video. Or if, uh, you know, one level takes me forever to do, and the uh, next level doesn't take me as long. Again, it depends on the time, and I just tossed the ball off the face of the earth again. Son of a bitch. I'm just wasting lives here. That is not good. <sighs> so... Yeah. If, uh, a level takes me, uh, too long to do, then, uh, of course that level will be the only video that is posted, and I nearly killed myself. Not. Whatever. You are mine. We're gonna go have some fun. Ah, damn it! I think that ball got shot by the cannonball, and then, uh, it was sent flying off the face of the earth, so... Of course. Always fun for that to happen. It's always great. I'm being sarcastic from that, by that, by the way. God, I hate that so much. Okay, I wonder what you're doing jogging in place. I seriously don't know. By the way, if you want to use this uh, enemy's ability, just push the A button. Very simple. Damn it. Stupid enemy. Cool, the enemy got destroyed. Excellent. That's the way I like it. Alright, 60 out of 70 cards. We're almost done here. Alright. Okay, so, next thing we gotta do is push on the switch that is over here, and we can be on our way. I'm not sure, but I think that the last boat down there, I think that's the level exit. And, by the way, if I do accidentally activate a level exit, I'll probably just come back later after I complete the world to come for the rest of the cards. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll off, please, thank you. Uh, stupid, stupid cannonball, stupid chest of death. Okay, that'll work. Or not, don't... Oh, you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Seriously. Evil cannonballs up the ass. Ugh, I hate these cannonballs. They are so mean and evil. There we are, finally. Also watch out for those evil treasure chests that wants to eat the ball as well. Okay, I got 64 out of 70 cards, and yes, this is the level exit. So, hmm. Well, I don't know where the rest of the cards are, so I'm going to head back to the beginning of the level. And, okay. Hmm. Thanks to me having the ball in hand, obviously I can, uh, you know, sustain any fall damage. Well, actually, I neglect, negate all fall damage. That's the word I was looking for. Dang. So, I seriously don't know where the rest of the cards are, so... I don't know. I may just, uh, go look around and see if I can find them. But, uh, of course I'll cut footage out. Or then again, since I can't find them, I'll just say screw it for now. Just come back for them later. I don't know. Oh no. Yeah. When that little island thing is, uh, spewing out the water and whatnot, you don't want to be underneath because the underside of the island has spikes and... Obviously, if those spikes hit, then, uh, well, the ball's gonna be popped. So, 
Ugh. Again, it really sucks that I lost my card locator thing. Again, it probably only works once, you know, for when you turn on your system. Hmm, maybe I just uh, need to just do the trick once, you know, just like make one separate save file, and uh, you know, just do start it on easy. You know, I haven't really thought about it. You know, I haven't thought of uh, you know, bringing that bring that stuff over. I haven't really thought of the trick that much, like about uh, how to bring it over. You know, besides the one trick that I knew about starting a new game and then starting another new game using another file and bringing it over that way. So, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to head to the level exit. So, sorry for that little waste of time. Well, now that uh, that's out of the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, head to the exit now, and I'll just come back for for the cards later. And I think the cards do reset, so yeah. Sorry to say. <laughs> nice, nice victory theme. I like it. All right, now that the uh, Level 1 is done. It took me 19 minutes and 51 seconds, which sucks ass, but whatever. It happens. Let's move on to level 2. <laughs>